Uh, well, look, let's turn our attention to other matters. Uh, King Charles III, it's been formally announced after much speculation that King Charles' coronation will be held next spring on Saturday the 6th of May at Westminster Abbey. It was confirmed by Buckingham Palace that Camilla, the Queen Consort, will also be alongside the King and will be uh, crowned in that historic ceremony. However, uh, that uh, coronation is going to be pared down, as we've discussed on the show earlier this week, from the usual four hours down to one and the usual 8,000 guests down to about 2,000 in the uh, the uh, Abbey. Let's talk about this with Rupert Bell, who's talk radio's world correspondent. Good morning to you, Rupert. Good morning, Julia. Well, I mean, you don't want to be paid by the hour to cover the uh, the ceremony now, do you? That's that's definitely not the case. Uh, there's no doubt at all this is the right decision to pare it down a bit. We're going to be coming out of probably the worst winter for about 20 years financially for people, having a load of people, you know, with gold crowns and gold coaches and all of the ceremonial stuff. That, frankly, is not going to go down very well with an awful lot of people in this country next May, is it? So King Charles making the right decision there to pare it down a bit? Yes, um, I think it might be a uh, two-hour service, so um, I might get paid for two hours' work, Julia. So, uh, <laughs> Bargain! Um, just, just the uh, one hour. But, uh, yes, th I think that is the plan. And, obviously, it's a, a date on a Saturday as well. So they've also got the issue of what do they do about there's a bank holiday the previous week. How do they manage that? The whole, um, and, and, clearly, there's been some political discussions as to when the wedding, uh, rather, the uh, coronation <laughs> yeah. wedding, the coronation should take place. Uh, and that is obviously um, uh, uh, got to be worked out properly. So will they move that May Day bank holiday uh, forward uh, to the Friday to make it a long weekend? There will be all sorts of discussions well, I'm sure taking understand. place in the, in the meantime. My, my colleague here in the studio, Sam Armstrong, has pointed out, why can't these decisions be made in advance? I mean, I can't, obviously you can't make these decisions in advance before the Queen's uh, uh, sad death, but um, why, why is there the debate in, in, you know, in, in the country first before these things happen? I'd like to say, as someone whose birthday is on May the 2nd, and always, I've got a four in seven chance <laughs> of getting a bank holiday, a lot, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, a long weekend uh, for my birthday. Um, I'm, I do not want that bank holiday. Holiday moved. Don't see why it should be moved. There'll be a lot of people though who've made holiday plans. Often this can be around your time when people, you know, you can take a week off, but then you take four days holiday. This is going to affect people, and 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 also, again, we're coming. We've got our economy. We've just got the latest figures. But we, we, you know, we we 0.3 percent fall in GDP. Bank holidays can actually cost the economy. I know a lot of people might go and spend money as well, but they can do that the weekend before. What? What? Why is it even necessary? Well, I, I suppose it's the way they say, just um, in a way like the Platinum Jubilee, so that people can celebrate what it... Uh, the, what well, the they Platinum can do that Jubilee. on the Saturday. Well, that's why they're probably going to... Uh, why they're holding the coronation on the Saturday. It's whether they make it a whole uh, weekend. It's by no means cast in stone what they're going to do, uh, but they have established May the 6th. Mm -hmm. That is the main focus of attention. Yeah. It's what goes on around it, and that is where the pairing dial element comes into it so will be and it will still have all the pomp and ceremony to be anointing of the oil or of the of the monarch and and all that and all the jewels will be moved from the tower of london so they'll be on display and used throughout the ceremony so it will still feel like a coronation but it mm. won't look like the 1953 version which well, was uh, very definitely over the top scaffolding all over westminster abbey with eight thousand people crammed into it back to 2000 so it actually tries to fit into what obviously will be a long winter. And as we emerge out of that, mm. the, and certainly the, the political situation, may the move will may be, uh, certainly the na natives in this country might be restless by then. Indeed. So, well, well, look, it, it'll still look pretty sumptuous, let's be honest. And anyway, if you're going to have a monarchy, what's the point of doing it unless you are going to have all that pageantry? And we were talking, you, know, you and I spoke many times about the yeah. spellbinding pageantry we saw with the Queen's funeral and that, you know, broadcast around the world. And, you know, I mean, a lot of the arguments people give for monarchy is this is a you know, message around the world the soft power and the tourism appeal well as you know certainly has that can i also ask you about the younger royals once again our good friend Meghan markle back in the news she's got a new one of her i still don't know how to pronounce it, archetypes the yeah. kids it's named after the kid archie archetypes podcast that she's done with apparently some celebrity actresses who i've never heard of i mean i've got no idea who these people are but anyway it's all about Meghan anyway I'm sorry to do this to people. If you want to just go nip to the loo or put the kettle on or just do something very loud so you don't have to hear this for 30 seconds, I completely understand. I, but do come back in 30 seconds' time. Let's have a little listen to Meghan Markle discussing how terrible her life is once again on her podcast. Raise your hand if you've ever been called 
crazy or hysterical? <laughs> or what about nuts, insane, out of your mind, completely irrational? Okay, you get the point. Now, if we were all in the same room and could see each other, I think it would be pretty easy to see just how many of us have our hands up. By the way, me too. And it's no wonder when you consider just how prevalent these labels are in our culture. <sighs> it just, um... I just, it's just even hearing her voice, Rupert. I, what can I say? She's whinging and moaning again. And basically, she's talking about how she, you know, the, the, there are these stereotypes. And I do accept that. Um, but she's sort of talking about how she's been called these things. And isn't it terrible? I mean, hasn't she been called some of these things because of actually what she said and what she's done rather than just because she's a woman? Uh, another eye rolling moment from me there, Julia, I have to say. It, it's like. It, it's this Californian culture of everything has to be analyzed. You've got to go and oh. see a therapist. That is, um, and why can't people take a, it sometimes take a look at themselves when they haven't really got a problem? And I'm not sure Megan has got huge problems because she's <laughs> living in a million dollar house and she's extremely comfortable. But it's the woe is me feeling that she always wants to create. and. I, you know, does she, she doesn't sound happy. No, but also That's she's got this idea about these stereotypes about women. And then you think, sorry, says the woman who yeah. was a two-bit actress who married a mm. prince um, and then gave up her job. And then, I mean, mm. come on, lady. Uh, I mean, give me give me a break here. She's also complaining at some point in, about the, the TV series How I Met Your Mother, which I think is brilliantly fun. Mm. One of the uh, characters uh, talks about this, this, this crazy hot matrix. So basically, if a woman is this crazy, then she has to be this hot that matrix that's a well-known you know online meme it's really funny and my husband can attest really really accurate as well um and when he showed it to me the first time I, my first question was oh where am i on it i was quite proud actually apparently where i'd moved from one when he first met me a place on the matrix to another place i mean take a joke lady well, and this is it. It's, it says that everything has to be taken seriously. There's no time for joy and laughter, it would seem, because you, in her life, it seems you have to be analysing every second of the day yeah. and make sure you are aware of your feelings 100% of the time. Can I just say, Rupert, I've just thought of a great sitcom, and it's mm -hmm. you at home with Meghan Markle. I would oh. so watch that. Uh, it, it, it might be short and taken <laughs> off the air fairly quickly because I'm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but... Who buy? That's the question. Well, uh, yeah, Rupert, yeah. always good to talk to you. Talk, talk radio is a royal correspondent. Let me...